In this lecture, we're going to look at the uh, physical properties of minerals and, uh, you know, see what makes a mineral a mineral and uh, see if we can keep up the difference of those. First of all is the, uh, the crystal form. Uh, crystals we're familiar with, uh, you know, diamond crystal, uh, crystals of quartz. Well, crystals are the orderly internal arrangement of the atoms, and each uh, particular mineral, mineral has its own unique crystal form. Another property of a mineral is luster, or sometimes referred to as shininess. Uh, you know, we, we talked about reflection of light earlier this year in, in physical science, and the, the two major types of uh, reflectance of light on a, uh, a mineral are metallic luster, you know, shininess, what you would see from a, oh, gold or silver, and then a non-metallic luster, something that is dull, does not reflect light very well. Uh, quite often a non-metallic luster is referred to as an earthy luster. Uh, although color is the most obvious of all mineral properties, it's also the least reliable. Uh, many minerals have different colors uh, due to impurities in them. And, uh, you know, this one's uh, uh, amethyst quartz, nice purplish color. Uh, you know, gold would definitely tell by its yellowish color. Although uh, color is obvious, it's, it's really the least useful of the one of the properties of minerals and you really got to be careful when you when you talk about color you know color is somewhat a subjective property another property of a mineral in a something we'll work with is a streak where you take a uh, unglazed porcelain tile and you uh, take the mineral and you rub it on the unglazed porcelain porcelain tile and you get some powder on there and that is called a streak and many minerals can be identified by their streak uh, the two here, at least the one up on the right, is uh, is pyrite. Probably the one we're going to use the most, and you should probably become the most familiar with, is hardness. Uh, hardness is resistance to scratching. And uh, you're, you're probably familiar with the uh, the mole scale of hardness, where talc is the uh, the most softest of the minerals, and diamond has a, uh, is the most hard. Uh, the scale goes from 1 to 10, with, again, diamond being 10 and talc being 1. And now there's some common objects you can use to uh, determine hardness. Your fingernail is about a two and a half. Uh, as the, the diagram shows, copper penny is about three. Uh, steel nails about five. Glass plate about five and a half, and so forth. And you can relatively tell the hardness of minerals by what can scratch what. Uh, another property of minerals is cleavage, or how they, the tendency of how they break to produce a smooth surface. The example here is mica. And it, uh, when you break mica apart, it cleaves or it breaks upon uh, really flat, thin sheets. Uh, probably one of the most important parts of, when you talk about cleavage are diamond cutters, where they can uh, cut a diamond and cleave it along the different planes in there. And, uh, and you can make some pretty good money if you can, uh, you can break diamonds apart. But cleavage is the uh, tendency to break along a plane and produce a smooth surface. <laughs> Minerals that do not cleave are said to fracture. Uh, you have quartz on here. Uh, you know, quartz, other minerals, when they break apart, they, ju they just break apart. There's really no rhyme or reason, and that is referred to as fracture. Uh, one we'll, we'll try to do in class here is specific gravity. Uh, it's, it's pretty similar to density. Uh, it's the ratio of the weight of the mineral to the weight of an equal volume of water. Really, you're looking at the uh, density of the sample compared to the density of water. The density of water is uh, one gram per milliliter, and the density of a sample typically is going to be a gram per milliliter. So, gram per milliliter over a gram per milliliter cancels out. So, specific gravity is a really a unitless quantity, and uh, we mostly talk about the density of the mineral, uh, not specific gravity that much. Uh, some other properties of minerals is taste. Uh, typically, you don't want to taste something as you don't want it is, but one definitely is halite or salt. Uh, another uh, property of minerals texture. Does it feel rough? Does it feel smooth? Uh, is it, does it have a soapy or an oily feel to it? Uh, talc has that soapy feel to it. Uh, magnetism, especially magnetite, uh, is it attracted to a magnet? Uh, some minerals will have a chemical reaction to hydrochloric acid where they'll start boiling. And that's, you know, just some maybe not as obvious ones, but ones that can also be used.